Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back, my name is Grace, the one behind Fonts Cordy and you are in my art channel. If you like what you see, please subscribe for more. So, I got a new art supply. Look at them, they are gorgeous. I want them for probably, I don't know, three years. I've been hunting them down along with the charcoal pencils, the ink tins, and the graffiti tins. Those are still a little bit out of my reach for the moment, but this, these are finally mine. There's a new presentation of the Charcoal XL, and because of that, this old version was on sale, and it was my moment. I finally got them. And by the way, if you ask why just didn't buy the new version, well, it's because it cost three times the original price of this one. Keep in mind, in my country we had to pay importation taxes and the sellers also want to make a profit, so prices are usually three times more expensive than the average price in the US or the UK. For my understanding, the only difference between the new and this one is the new one have a green instead of a black. And I do like green, but honestly, I can use more the black, so it's fine. Okay, enough waffling, let's swatch. And I know there's a lot of swatches of this product already, but this is my swatch, okay? Okay. I'm gonna use some mixed media paper. This is just my swatch book, so yeah, I'm gonna keep it there. Now, I know you can grab them and use them dry. But that's not what I got them. If I wanted that, I could just get a normal charcoal or pastel block. I got this because from all the brands out there, they are the most water soluble as far as I know. And that's the beauty of them. I already have a water soluble charcoal by Derwent. It's a little block I got in a scroller box last year. I've been using them a lot recently. And I'm glad to see this XL behaves just like the little block. I mean, I know it's the same product but different size, but sometimes, even in the same brand, there's a difference between how the product behaves depending on presentation. You know, if the Sanguine were a little bit more red with these colors, we basically have the Storm palette, which is yellow, red, black, and white. That palette is used mainly for portraits because you can create every skin tone and every natural hair color on this planet with those four colors. If you want to specialize in traditional portrait, go and explore that palette, I highly recommend it. Actually, let's play with some mixes. I want to see what we can achieve with only these materials before introducing something else, because I'm definitely going to mix them with my watercolor. But one step at a time, let's first experiment with only the charcoal. Okay, I like them already. Can you see the texture they have? I'll see if I can record a close-up with my phone, but I love them. I need to see how they behave in a full piece. Let me start with something simple. Okay, so far I like them, but let me push it a little bit more and turn it up a notch.
You know, I have a personal rule for new art materials and that is to do at the minimum 5 pieces before deciding if I like it or not. And that's how I find out I hate alcohol markers and oil pastel and oil pastels. But these ones, this is enough. I love them. Just as a medium alone, I can see a lot of potential. Okay, last one. I'm going to use them in a full illustration to see all their capacities, but this time I'm introducing a dark and a white charcoal pencil, just to keep it all in one medium. Let's see what we can do. Well, all I can say is I love this. So far, the only problem I found was me thinking it will behave like when I mix the charcoal and the watercolor, when this is just the charcoal, this is a complete different beast. It's almost like painting with mud. So you need to let it do its thing. You cannot control it like the watercolor. But that's just a learning curve. Other than that, I completely love this medium. Now imagine them mixed with other materials, with watercolors or oh, or using them as a base for acrylic glazing. I need to try that. I also need to start hunting the pencil version because I do want more colors. And I need to search for the ink tanks too because I have heard those are semi-permanent after they dry. If that's true, I need to try them as a base and then put this on top or mix them and see what happens. Okay, I think I'm not going to sleep today. I want to experiment a little bit more with this. And I also need more fixative too. I only have a little left. But that's all for today. If you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell for notifications. Hope you have an amazing week. See you next time. Bye-bye.